Hey, hi guys, this is Bakapa Chincholikar. So in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to perform mouse hover in the Selenium web driver. So first point I have is uh, we will discuss uh, about the scenario which we are going to automate. Then we will start implementing our automation code. So let us get started with the scenario discussion. So first I'll open the web browser, then I will enter the, this URL. So in this URL, so if you see the one option drop down, so whenever you do a mouse hover on the drop down, so you are able to see the multiple options. So first I'll do mouse hover on the drop down, then I will click on one of the op option here. So let us start with our automation code. So we are done with discussing the scenario. Now we will start with uh, implementing the automation code now. So in the com dot test automation dot test scripts under this I'll create the one simple class. So here I'm specifying the class name as mouse hover. So that's it. I'll click on finish button. So here I'll implement the simple one test method public public wide test one. So that's it. You can import the related packages of at the rate test. So that should be coming from the test engine annotations. So that's it. So first we have to launch the web browser, then we have to enter this URL. So for this, you can go to my channel. So you can click on this tutorial. So if you come down in the description, so I have specified the code, whatever we have discussed in this tutorial. So I'll copy the some four lines of code. And I'll paste it here. So that's it. You can import all the related packages. So these two lines, it just simply opens the Chrome browser, then it maximizes the Chrome browser, then it enters the specified URL. So now you can import the all related packages. So that's it. So let us remove the URL. So you can specify the UR, this URL. So after opening this URL, so I need to do mouse hover on this particular element. So before doing the mouse hover on the drop down, first we have to identify this web element. So let us inspect this element. So if you look at this tag, that's anchor tag. So it is nothing but it is having a link. So we will identify this drop down by using the link text. So you can copy this particular value. So you can directly you can say inspect and after that you can. So as it is visible in the web page itself, you can directly specify the visible value that is drop down. So here I'm identifying this particular web element by using the link text. So you can whatever the visible text in the web page, you can specify the same. So here I'm specifying the drop down. Then I'll store this into the web element type. So here I'm just specifying the web element reference variable drop down link so you can import the related uh, packages for the web element interface after identifying this link text that is drop down so we have to do mouse hover so this can be done by using the actions class. 
So first I will be creating the object of the actions class. Then it accepts the one argument that is of type driver object. Then you can store this object into the actions reference variable. Then you can import the related packages for the actions class. So that's it. So now you can take the actions object. Then you can call to the one method called move to element. So if you look at the second option, that is it is accepting the web element as the argument. So I'm selecting the second option here. So you can specify the this particular web element that is drop down link. So just we have identified by using the link text that is this web element. So once we have done the move to element, then you can say build, then perform the action. So that's it. So this line, it does the mouse over on the specified element. So after doing the mouse over, so I wanted to click on the drop-down link for. So let us identify this particular object by using the link, te link text itself. So if you, if you do a mouse over on this, so whenever you do a mouse over on the any of the option here, so clearly it is visible, these are the link text. So let us identify this drop down link for, then we will click on this drop down link for. So this line, it does the mouse over on the drop down option. Then here I'm clicking the by link text. So here I'm identifying the one option, one object that is drop down link for. So here I'm specifying the text now, drop down link four. Then simply I will say, click on the one of the option. So after clicking on this drop down link four, let us wait for some time. So here I'm calling thread dot sleep method. So we will wait for 10 seconds. After that, we will simply close the web browser by calling to the driver.quit method. So you can just say add throws declaration. You can select the exception type. So let us summarize what we have done till now. So first we have launched the web browser and we have maximized the web browser. Then we have entered this URL by using the get method. After that, we have identified the drop down link that is this one. Then I'm using the actions class object. By using that object, I'm my cursor is moving to the this particular link in the web page. After that, I'm performing the click operation on the drop down link for. So then I'm waiting for a few seconds, then simply Finally, I'm closing the web browser. So that's it. Let us execute this test case. Now it has launched the web browser, then First, it will maximize it, then it will enter the URL. So it has entered the URL, then it quickly does the mouse over on the drop down. Then it will click in one of the options. So in my case, I have specified drop down link for. So still, uh, it has not loaded the complete web page. 
so if we look at in the downside of the left side corner still it is saying waiting for the so and so dot com so in my case quite uh, internet is slow maybe because of that reason so if you look at the actions it it, it has done the most what then it has clicked on the drop down link for then it is waiting for 10 seconds so it's perfectly working fine if you look at the results total test run is one there are one pass and zero failures so that's all i have in this session so if you have any questions and any issues you can comment in the comment section so i'll be providing this entire code in the description of this below video if you like this tutorial click on cl sorry click on like button and share with your friends and colleagues thank you thank you very much for wa watching this tutorial